We know that the sun is our primary source of energy. The heat from the sun is what drives our climate cycle on Earth. The heat and light of the sun is what gives life to plants, animals and us. So how exactly is the heat energy formed in the sun? The center of the sun is known as its core. The process of nuclear fusion takes place in the sun's core and this is where the light and heat energy is generated. In the core, hydrogen is converted into helium. This particular fusion reaction is known as proton-proton fusion. This process occurs in three main steps. In the first step, two protons will combine and one of them will be converted into a neutron via the weak nuclear force. This neutron will form the heavy nucleus of a special type of hydrogen known as deuterium. After this, the deuterium nucleus will combine with another proton to form an isotope of helium. This is helium-3. Aside from this isotope, a gamma ray is also formed. It leaves the core of the sun and is released as sunlight. Finally, two of the helium-3 nuclei will collide to form another isotope known as helium-4. Two hydrogen protons are then released. The helium-4 atom has less mass than the original four protons that first came together in the first step. Due to this, their combination releases an excess amount of energy in the form of heat and light. This energy then travels through the photosphere of the sun, and is released in the form of sunlight. Moving on to the fusion reaction on Earth, we should first talk about our climate. Our climate change crisis is worsening as the years pass, and global carbon emissions have taken a sharp increase over the past few years. Many countries have adopted various different policies to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions and become cleaner, but it is not enough to solve the problem of global warming. Scientists believe that a wide-scale deployment of nuclear energy is going to significantly reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. It is an important method of energy production as it powers so many different things on Earth. Nuclear energy is quite clean. In fact, it has zero greenhouse gas emissions. Therefore, it preserves the air quality as it doesn't release any harmful byproducts. Compared to other forms of energy, nuclear energy leaves behind a very small land footprint. It produces a higher amount of electricity on a small land than any other source of energy. Since it uses up very little land, the cost of operation is also extremely low. It is also a reliable source of energy. Energy sources like wind and solar power are dependent on weather conditions so if the weather is not in our favor, it is very hard to produce energy through these means. However, nuclear power plants are never affected by any external climatic factors. A nuclear power plant can even produce energy non-stop for an entire year, which not many other forms of energy can do. Since nuclear fuel is quite dense, it is extremely efficient. Nuclear fission can release high amounts of energy from little raw material on a daily basis compared to our fossil fuels or any other types of renewable energy. It also produces minimal waste as a lot of the waste can be repurposed and recycled. Nuclear power produces about 10% of the entire world's electricity. Because it is so environmentally advantageous, more and more organizations from all around the world are looking to increase their use of nuclear power. As our population grows, so will our demand for electricity and energy, more importantly, clean energy. With climate change and global warming getting worse, scientists are pushing for the use of nuclear energy. It provides a more sustainable future for the generations to come. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button and share. Subscribe for more daily content like this.